Hello everyone, my name is Atish and topic of this learning video is linear dependence and independence of vectors. As today's teaching learning process is application oriented, so let me tell you the wonderful applications of linearly independence and linearly dependence of vectors. So the applications are in machine learning, in optimization problem, and in aircraft engineering, there is a use of linearly independent and linearly dependent. Let me tell you about machine learning. As machine learning is the hottest topic these days, let me tell you one thing about machine learning. I am going through a course designed by Imperial College of London on machine learning and mathematics. In that, I have seen the importance of linearly independent and linearly dependent okay and these are the two other applications now to learn the topic that we have in this video need some terminologies so these terminologies are vectors linear combination linear dependence and linearly independent of vectors and Cramer's rule so these are the four basic needs in order to understand the topic so let us see one by one what is vector so a vector is an ordered set of n numbers x1 x2 xn and it's we denote the vector by single capital alphabet here x is equal to x1 x2 xn is a row vector or transpose of this is a column vector in the exam in the example that we are going to learn in this video you can take the vector as a row vector or as a column vector it depends on your convenience okay now if the vector is clear to you let's see what is linear combination so again you will be having some set of vectors x1 x2 xn then for each of these vector if these vectors are n so n scalars must be there and the and then the vector formed by scaling and adding these vectors is called as linear combination. We denote the linear combination by LC. Okay. Next is linearly dependent of vectors. So the set of vectors x1, x2, xn are said to be linearly dependent if there exist scalars k1, k2, k not all 0 such that the linear combination equal to 0. Now what is the meaning of x scalars not all 0? Means there should be at least one vector which should be non-zero okay and this zero denotes the null vector okay now this is the definition of linearly dependent now my question is can you define linear independent of vectors if yes just pause the video for few seconds and after you make your definition for linearly independent you can resume the video So I hope you might have uh, come up with the definition of linearly independent. The very simple definition about linearly independent is the set of vectors which are not linearly dependent is called as linearly independent. Is it? Simple definition. Now talking in terms of a mathematical definition. So the vectors are linearly independent if there exist scalars k1, k2, kn such that the linear combination equal to 0 implies all the scalars are 0. So in short if you want to uh, remember this definition what you can what you can remember just remember only one thing linear combination equal to 0 implies all the scalars are 0 means linearly independent linear combination equal to 0 implies at least one scalar is non-zero linearly dependent because students get confused so many times where to say linearly independent and where to say linearly dependent so you can remember or uh, you just remember only one definition other will be follow okay other definition can easily follow so next is after linearly independent we have the fourth terminology that is Cramer's rule so I have taken a very simple example to uh, know this Cramer's rule. 
so consider two equations this now how many equations are there we have two equations and how many unknowns one two and three so two equations three unknowns both in nine safi wali baat ho gayi hai na because this is not the ideal condition two equations two unknowns okay so whenever such is the case we go for the kramer rule to get the values of k1 k2 k3 so applying the kramer rule one can find k1 so before uh, k1 just one remark i would like to make remember the first term is positive second one is negative third is positive fourth will be negative so following it follows the pattern of plus minus plus minus okay now it is 1 2 2 3 1 1 2 3 1 1 1 2 how we have found out this to find out k1 you just forget about the coefficient of k1 write the coefficient of k2 and k3 so it is 1 2 2 3 okay for k2 forget about the coefficient of k2 write down the coefficient of k1 and k3 1 2 1 3 and similarly for k3 now solving the 2 by 2 determinant is not a big deal 3 minus 4 is minus 1 then 3 minus 2 is 1 and then 2 minus 1 is 1 okay so what will be getting k1 upon minus 1 k2 upon minus 1 and k3 upon 1 okay multiplied by minus sign will be getting 1 1 minus 1 so what is the value of k1 1 value of k2 1 and value of k3 1 okay so this is what cramer's rule is so if all these terminologies are clear to you we can move ahead with working rule so what is working rule so the working rule is working rule says write down the given vectors okay second is write down the linear combination and equate it to zero next apply cramer rule to get the values of scalars next check whether the values of scalar satisfies the given equations or not and at last you have to write down your final answer simple steps why i am writing this working rule because in the examination sometimes you don't have any uh time to uh, revise all those things so if if you are smart enough you can just uh, remember these working rule and you can apply these uh, steps to solve the problems simple So now it's time to take an example. So example number one says investigate whether the vectors x one, x two, x three are linearly dependent or not. Also find their linear combination. So as I said, what is the first step? The first step says write down the given vectors. So you have to write down the given vectors in the slide. I haven't written these vectors. So you first step you have to write down. okay what is the second step write down the linear combination now to write down the linear combination i need scalars so how many scalars you we need because there are three vectors we need three scalars namely k1 k2 k3 such that the linear combination equal to 0 now substitute the values of x1 x2 and x3 we'll be getting this okay once you get this equation now solve this equation k1 into 1 plus k2 into 1 plus 2 times k2 likewise the other equation so how many equation will be getting here will get four different equations okay so these are the four equations now what you have to do is consider any two equations and try to get the values of k1 k2 k3 okay so i am considering equation 1 and 2 to solve you can consider any equation i am taking 1 and 2 you can take 2 and 3 someone may take 3 and 4 someone may take 1 or 4 okay it is up to you you will be getting the same answer so i am taking first two equations to get the values of unknowns if you remember uh, while discussing cramer's rule in the previous slides uh, i have used the same equations okay and same calculations will be there so as we have already seen this calculation so we can move fast so values of k1 k2 k3 now this much we have seen in that slide now to get uh, the values of k1 k2 k3 we have applied cramer's rule now what is your next step the very important step is 
we have we got the values of k1 k2 k3 with the help of first two equations so whatever values you are getting you need to correct with uh, you need to check whether equation 3 and equation 4 satisfies this values or not so 1 into k1 k1 as 1 1 plus 3 times k2 so 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 4 into minus 1 so plus 4 minus 4 0 so equation these values satisfy equation 3 now see the equation number 4 3 times k1 plus 4 times k2 9 times k3 so this is 1 1 minus 1 so 3 plus 4 7 minus 9 so minus 2 is not equal to 0 so these values does not satisfy equation 4 as these values does not satisfy equation 4 we say that the given vectors are linearly independent okay and once these vectors are linearly independent so we cannot find out the linear combination between them so you can you just have to write the sentence their linear combination cannot be obtained okay so this is the problem one we have now let us take another problem the next problem is on the same topic of course so example number two says check whether the following vectors are linearly independent or linearly dependent also find their linear combination so as previous step number one write down the given vectors x1 x2 x3 x4 i haven't written the vectors because i have written the question in your examination you uh, won't have to write the questions so whenever you are starting the solution you need to write these vectors x1 x2 x3 x4 now how many vectors are there we have four vectors so how many scalars we need we need four scalars namely k1 k2 k3 k4 such that the linear combination equal to zero and say this is equation number a now substituting the values of k1 k2 k3 now solve these equation will be getting k1 plus 2 k2 plus 0 times k3 minus 3 k4 likewise the other definition okay so we'll be getting three equations with four unknowns okay now three equations four unknowns bahut hi na insafi wali baat hogi fir se so hum kiske paas jayenge we'll go for cramer's rule and you know how to apply cramer's rule to get the value of k1 i will ignore the coefficient all the coefficient of k1 and take the determinant of coefficient of k2 k3 and k4 so what is it 2 0 minus 3 minus 1 1 7 and 3 2 2 then minus k2 upon remaining coefficient k3 upon 1 2 minus 3 2 minus 1 7 and 4 3 2 okay and see there is a fact there is a unknown k4 so we are following the pattern plus minus plus minus okay now solving the determinant is not tough and uh, i have told you about the uh, shortcut method to get the determinant of 3 by 3 matrix so you can uh, you can go through the videos that i have already provided you during the prerequisites so you can go and you can see okay so these are the values we are getting so this minus minus get cancelled this minus minus get cancelled so what is the value of k1 9 value of k2 12 and value of k3 minus 5 and value of k4 5 okay now once you get the values of k1 k2 k3 k4 now do we need to satisfy uh, do you need to check uh, whether these equations satisfy or not no need to check uh, the value satisfies the equation or not why because in this case when we solve the uh, when we get the values of k1 k2 k3 all the three equations have been utilized so they must satisfy the definite uh, they must satisfy the equations okay if you have doubt you can check whether these values satisfy or not but i know these equations satisfies okay once you get the values and this satisfies the given equation so what we can conclude we can conclude the given vectors x1 x2 x3 x4 are linearly dependent 
and because these these vectors are linearly dependent what you have to do you just have to you just have to substitute the value of k1 k2 k3 k4 in equation a to get the required linear combination okay so when you put these values of k1 k2 k3 k4 in equation a we get this and this is the required linear combination now few remark i would like to make uh, if the vectors are linearly independent no linear combination if the vectors are linearly dependent there would be a linear combination okay so please keep this thing in mind and i have we have taken two examples in this video now i would like you to uh, try the examples at home so please try this at home so we have uh, two examples for you to solve uh, so just go through the problems uh, that we have discussed in the video and then you can solve these problems 3 and 4 okay and if you have any difficulty you can contact me okay so this is what we have in this learning video so thank you for watching this learning video and enjoy learning digitally thank you